All right, here's a quick video. Um, <clears throat> I have a screensaver that you can use for the color computer. Um, it's more for entertainment than for <clears throat> um, a real purpose since uh, there aren't any um, windows for the color computer one or two um but you could still run it for fun or you can make your own and uh I'm trying to think what else i can say about this um maybe the color computer 3 had um dos and maybe it had windows on it I don't know maybe somebody could answer that question if it did then you could use this for something practical uh, so it's just a short program and it's very simple to do so I'm just gonna run this And so that's it. You have your screensaver here, and it stays within specified borders. You know, you can't go outside that blue line there because you'll get an error. And this is just um, simply, uh, you know, an, an image that I created there, a smiley face and it's i think it's, it's using get and put i think i wrote this a while ago and you don't have that scanning problem that you have with bigger objects at least it's not noticeable like it was with a, a, a bigger much bigger object so this is basically just picking two random numbers um, on, an, on the x-axis and on the y-axis and um, then it just locates the the uh, put image wherever it picks those two numbers and then uh, where those two numbers cross and then it just has a brief timer and then it PCLS just clears the screen and it just repeats the cycle endlessly um, until you get out of the program. So it's a screensaver, but um, if you're running a, a color computer too, I'm really not sure what you would use this for. It's just more for fun. You could have this on in the background for fun. That's all it is, you know. Um, it's a modern take on, uh, on a vintage, uh, a modern idea uh, or whatever on a vintage computer. You know, it can be done. Anything can be done almost um, on one of these color computers if you just put your mind to it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out of this program, and it's called Screensaver, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open another one, another program here, and this is also a, a Screensaver type deal, but... Uh, it's going to have the same picture, the smiley face, but this one, when it starts, there's a brief animation. Um, so I'll run that. So you see how there was a brief animation first. Um, and now this is the same idea, but what I did here is I broke the screen up into four quadrants and the idea here was that the screensaver image will only show up in this quadrant 
it will never be in one of these other quadrants or in the center or on any of these lines so you can get creative um, with this and it's just it's it's for the principle of the whole thing you know you have to if you want to program computers these these old computers you have or any kind of computer you have to start with a principle some principle and the one here is it's staying within these borders that's that's the idea you know and then you develop from there other ideas and this was one that I made really early on when I was just learning color basic so I did this as a beginner anybody could do it you just have to think about it and you know I'll leave you with that and that's it for this video and take care